What's up guys, in this video I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I made this sign. Uh, I'm not going to stop for details, if you want to see more how to, uh, check out my other videos, but this one's more on just like the total overall process, so uh, here we go, thanks. Like all my signs, first thing I do is I throw it on the projector and bring it to scale. I'll trace it, cut it out, and lay it on my plexiglass and get the shape of the glass finished. For cutting it out, I just use a jigsaw. A CNC would definitely be a big help, but a jigsaw works fine. Uh, it leaves a pretty clean edge. As you can see, I ended up throwing the plexiglass back on the projector and tracing out the whole sign. This will help me get the lines where they need to be. Uh, I'm just using clips and uh, LED flex neon. Uh, no CNC or groove, no glue. This is all just clips and screws. The neon I'm using is the best I've found. I've tried several different types out there. Uh, this stuff is eight millimeters wide. It just has the best glow. It's nice and even. You don't see any hot spots and you can cut it every inch. It's easy to work with. I'll drop it in the description. The controller for the strobing that I'm about to show you was made by my brother. He's a evil electrical engineering genius. He used some sort of chip called an Arduino, and I'll link it in the description. And uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to program these. Uh, it's just not my thing, but there's plenty out there that teach you. Here it is installed at the best Mexican restaurant around, Taco Loco in Washington, Missouri. Uh, the idea behind it was that the neon would fade out like you're drinking the margarita and then it'll strobe on the way back up kind of like somebody's pouring a fresh margarita splashing around and then it's just going to strobe and get your attention. And that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, like and subscribe for more. Thanks.